Zimbabwe, where authorities also are encouraging local farmers to transition to into uh, insect-based animal feed, which is viewed as a pivotal tool to the country's farming industry. The government has been initiating measures to equip the masses with the relevant information about the new mechanism or the new mechanized farming system. Now, here's more details of that in this report. For the last three years, the Chinoy University of Technology, located over 100 kilometers from Harare, has been breeding black soldier flies. The insects mate and produce protein-rich maggots. And the protein value of the maggots is around 55% uh, a, a crude protein, which is quite good, very uh, much higher than what we get from soya beans. That's why they are being touted as a more affordable, long-term alternative, which can free up more land to grow food for humans. So to produce one ton of soya, uh, you, you need tractors, you need land, you need the rainfall, you need to harvest, and all the associated processing costs. That's enormous. And here we are making a comparison. A ton of uh, black soldier fly meal uses a post-consumed uh, waste, which is also giving a benefit by reducing environmental footprint. Three tons of black soldier fly meal are harvested here every two weeks. Stock feed accounts for as much as 70% of the cost of production of livestock. Now the studies that have been done here show that using the black soldier fly as a feed could cut those costs significantly. The government is encouraging the transition to insect-based feeds. Most of the farmers um, in Zimbabwe um, are not, have not been privy of um, um, this technology. So that's actually some of um, what we're trying to do to actually have that form of awareness campaign and also to be training farmers. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization is conducting a pilot project with some 500 farmers in the Eastern Highlands, which it says could be transformative. So we are trying to create a black soldier fry producers. They are an entity and they can grow into an industry by themselves. And then we've got also those that are going to formulate feed on a small scale again. They can also create an industry of feed. Actually, we are creating a market uh, for, for everyone here. The feed is helping to increase fish and organic poultry production.